fight coming up next, a lightweight tilt between Benil Dariush and Charles Oliveira. Folks, here we go with round one. This is not the Eddie Bravo Invitational. This is the UFC and two of the more decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts we have in this or any division. Don't yes, we? in any division. We've never seen guys that can really incorporate the Jiu-Jitsu into fighting as we've seen this two do. But who's going to make a mistake? Who's going to leave an arm out there to get grabbed? Who's going to leave their neck out? Let's see. When you put two great jujitsu players together, who can get their hand raised in the octagon? Big leg kick lands. Punch over the top. They're certainly getting after it early. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. It's such a fast leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just over three minutes to go now. And he landed the right hand there. He didn't like that left oh, hand. Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. News oh. hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, you gotta be. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Benio Dariush. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person with lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.